Hi, this is Bob Winslow with Church Square. I'm previewing for you today our new content slider that we introduced at the beginning of May 2011. Uh, content slider is a nice animated component for your site. Adds a lot of color and interest. Uh, in this particular case, this is on CS35A, one of our pre-designed layouts. It's meant to describe different aspects of your ministry or church, uh, but you can certainly use it for any purpose, like different events or announcements for the church. Uh, typical to these types of content sliders, we have buttons at the bottom that allow you to change which slide you're looking at and advance or retreat using the buttons uh, within the slides. Uh, this is done without flash animation, so you don't have to know flash. You just use our content tools. And I'd like to give you a quick overview on how to use those tools. Okay, I've added a new page, and I'm going to add our content slider into Section 2. So I click on the Add button, go down to Design and Layout, and over to Content Slider. There's a preview of the slider, and I say I do want to add that to the site. That brings up a generic uh, slide, slide banner that I can start changing. I'm going to click on the Content Slider Settings. I'm going to make my width fixed and also change the uh, height and leave my animation style. The slide style, uh, it's actual animation. I'm going to make it ease in and back. I'm going to have these rotate every six seconds. I can change my arrow style and the button style underneath the slides. Okay, uh, my preview is still showing wide even though I've changed my uh, uh, width and my height. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. I have a little bit better preview. I'm going to apply my changes and then re-edit my site. Okay, now it's the right size for me. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is change my background. I'm going to, I have some uh, uh, graphics that I created in Power, uh, Photoshop. And I'm going to get that, the Get Connected one. Uh, now, uh, in this case, the graphic is the same size that I just made. But if I put up something that was smaller, it would have repeated. So I could go on the change background and make sure that I have this set to no repeat and to my position to be left top. Uh, next thing I want to work on is the text. Now I've mm -hmm. created my text over in Notepad. I'm just going to paste that in. And there's my text. I'm going to bold this a little bit, make it larger and bold it. And I am going to create a hyperlink for more information over to a page on my site, and it's going to be the ministry page. Okay, and now I need to position that. Um, to position the text, I can take a look at this text layout right here. I'm going to position it to the right. Now that I've positioned it, I can customize it a little bit. Uh, for example, if I wanted to, I could put a background on that. So I could put some highlighting behind that if I wanted to, but I'm just going to leave it with the black like I created it. I can also use these sliders to move it a little bit, move it up or down, uh, maybe create a little bit more space on the right so that button, it doesn't go over that button. And other than that, I think it's positioned fine. So let's apply the changes and see what we have. Okay, that slide looks good. And hopefully it'll animate to the next one. And of course that slides blank. Okay, now when I re-edit my content slider, I can go ahead and click on the next slide, do the same thing here. I can also uh, name that slide because I can have names under here rather than uh, just the generic buttons. I can delete a slide, add another slide, and of course I can reorder those slides as well. So that's a quick preview of the new content slider. I uh, hope you have fun using it on your site.